All right, so recently I asked you guys here and on Instagram what you wanted to see next on this channel. I'm stoked, honestly, thank you very much. There were so many suggestions and I will do my best to use as many as I can. And we will start today. Many of you asked me for more gin cocktails and for fall inspiration. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, including some recipes that you requested made truffles on the rocks way. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. Today we will be making three delicious cocktails, all of them inspired by the fall season. There will be one classic and two truffles on the rocks original. The first one, a classic bijou. You guys requested it, but to be honest, this is not my favorite. It is a little too sweet for me, but it is true though that it is really an autumn cocktail. It is very comforting, so I decided I would include it in this compilation, but I would rejigger it a little bit to make it more to my palate, which means a little bit drier. So we will start with 1.5 ounce of London Dry Gin. and three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. This is a homemade blend that I made with two parts of sweet vermouth and one part of amber vermouth. So we have all the same aromatic spices, but just a little less sugar, which is perfect for me. So as I said, three quarters of an ounce of that. And three quarters of an ounce of green chartreuse. Lastly, we're gonna add two dashes of orange bitters. We're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. We can now strain it into our favorite cocktail group. And for the garnish, we're simply gonna express a little bit of lemon oil on top of the cocktail. And we're gonna discard that zest. And this is it guys, this is how I make my bijou. Some classic templates ask for equal part of dry gin, sweet vermouth, and green chartreuse. But as I told you, this is too sweet for me. So I doubled the gin, used a little bit of amber vermouth, which dries it down a little bit, and that way it suits my palate perfectly. So let's give it a try. Mm. First, it is very bright on the nose because of the lemon oil. Then you get all these botanicals, herbs, and spices from the three ingredients. It is very, very comforting. Kind of a sweet autumn martini, if you will. It is really nice. So now let's move on to the second cocktail, the sage bees. All right, so the sage bees is basically a honey gin sour with the addition of sage. And the sage itself transforms this cocktail completely and makes for a very autumn-like cocktail because sage has a very interesting flavor profile. It shares the same dominant flavor molecule that you will get in other iconic fall spices like cardamom and rosemary, for example. And the fact that it is very fresh, it goes really well into a sour. So for this recipe, we will start with 1.5 ounce of London dry gin. Three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. I'm using a two to one ratio. And also three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then it's a sour, so we're gonna add an egg white. Three 
three sage leaves and two dashes of grapefruit bitters. Now we're gonna dry shake the cocktail for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna add two big pieces of ice that will help for a better emulsification and will cool down your cocktail perfectly. And now we're gonna shake it for another 10 seconds. And now we're ready to fine strain it into our favorite cocktail cool. For the garnish, we're simply gonna add a beautiful sage leaf on top of the cocktail, just like that, and a little bit of ground black pepper. And this is it, guys. This is how we make the sage bee. So now let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Even if this cocktail is very refreshing, the sage makes it very aromatic and autumn-like. Then at the end, you get a little bit of the pepper, it opens up your taste buds, adds a little bit of spiciness and savory notes. It goes really well with the sage. So it is a very comforting cocktail. It makes for the perfect autumn gin sour. So that's it for this one, guys. Now let's move on to the third cocktail, the gin old fashioned. All right, so the last cocktail of today's compilation is a gin old fashioned, another cocktail that you guys requested when I asked you what you wanted to see next on the channel. I accepted the challenge and decided to take it a step further by making it a fall gin old fashioned and add a lot of smoke to the cocktail and a hint of spiciness to it. So for the recipe, we will start with two ounces of London dry gin, a quarter ounce of Lafrogue Select, which is a very peated scotch, Once again, a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Two dashes of orange Angostura bitters. And two dashes of chipotle pepper infused Angostura bitters. To make that, very simple, bottle of Angostura, one chipotle pepper, put that together, let that steep for two days, strain it, bottle it up, and you have a very smoky and spicy Angostura bitters. It is delicious. So two dashes of that in the cocktail. And now we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a brief stir, half of what we usually do, so for about 30 revolutions. And we're gonna strain the cocktail over a beautiful block of clear ice. And lastly, for the garnish, we're gonna express orange zest over the cocktail. And this is it, guys. This is how I make my smoky gin old fashioned. Now let's give it a try. Hmm. All right. I don't make a lot of gin old fashions. Sometimes I feel they kind of fall flat because just gin, sugar, it's kind of meh to me. But this, well, I think I made it with the challenge. Smokiness from the Isla Scotch, spiciness from the Chipotle that is also smoky. I think it makes it very aromatic and full bodied. I think this is a beautiful gin old fashioned. I hope you will like it because I love it. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.